What's up guys, Justin here with the RealTimeEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out Stackobot. It's a new project for Unreal Engine that's just been released. That's really designed to be kind of a kind of a sandbox that teaches you how the different functions of Unreal Engine 5 work. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so just as a reminder, um, Unreal Engine 5 is available in beta right now or in early access. You can access it through the Epic Games Launcher and you can download it through Unreal Engine 5, the Unreal Engine 5 tab right here. So there's just a button in here for download early access. So the Stackabot resource is actually really exciting. So first off, you can find it in the marketplace. So if you click in the marketplace right here, right now it's actually the top thing in the marketplace. So um, you can see how you can access at the top of the page. You could also just type in Stackabot a bot right here. What it's going to do is it's going to take you to the Unreal Engine website where you can see this right here and then you can click on the button for open in launcher. Um, I'm not sure if it'll actually download in the launcher if you don't already have it but um, in this case uh, we're not going to worry about that for right now. But basically what this is is this is actually a sandbox project that's really designed to show you how projects should be set up in Unreal Engine 5. The cool thing about this is this is really set up to be kind of a practical tool that you can use in order to learn how the different parts and pieces work. So when you scroll down, you can see how they actually talk about how they want you to be able to approach the different features in the new version. So specifically, they want you to be able to learn how like Nanite and Lumen are working. Um, those are going to be huge improvements for uh, performance moving forward. So those are going to be really exciting. There's other things in here as well. So it's got like a fully rigged character um, with all the rigging set up, lots of other things like that. But specifically what it is, is it's really designed to be kind of a, hey, here's exactly how you should set these different things up. So um, it's designed to be kind of the starter kit um, if you're trying to learn how to use games inside of Unreal Engine 5. And so one of the things I really like about this is in conjunction with releasing the starter kit, there's actually a video on the Unreal Engine uh, YouTube channel um, giving you kind of an overview of the way that everything works. And so one of the cool things about this is this is really set up where they talk about the different parts and pieces that are in here. So they show you how to get into the world partition, for example, and show exactly how this additional stuff is being loaded in. So they show you how to access that. They show you the menus on the right hand side. They really kind of walk you through the way that it works, which is a super super cool resource to have. What I really like about this is they've also time stamped it. So you can actually get in here and it's going to show you, okay, here's how we're using world partition. Here's how we're using Lumen. Here's how we're using Nanite. So it's actually going to like show you um, some stuff about those. So it's not just like a, they chuck this over the fence and now you have to learn how to use it. You can actually watch this video and they're going to say, okay, here's how you can edit these different things. Here's how you can do this. Here's how you can do this. So super cool resource in my opinion. Um, so again, it is a great place to start with things like Lumen and Nanite. So notice how it's going to show you how to like uh, visualize the way that Nanite is showing different things inside of your game. So I will definitely link to this in the notes down below. And so I definitely don't want to get super in depth on any of this right now you can definitely jump in here and take a look at whatever you want but I did want to take a look at a couple of the cool things that are in here and so first off if you want to load this um, you can just click on the play button right here and it's gonna drop you in with a character which you can run around and you can do these different things so you've got this character and you can run through here just like this you can use this in order to jump around you've got like a little jetpack other things like that so it's pretty cool you can also like tap the F key in order to make a copy of yourself so notice how you can make a copy of yourself to keep a button down um, in order to allow different things to happen so lots of different things in here just to kind of show you how everything works um, basically the goal of it is you just walk around and you collect these little orbs and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close out of that but um, a couple of the things that I wanted to take a look at just because they're really cool uh, functions and features is first off the world partition so if you get up to window and you look at the world partition window right now, notice what this is doing is this is loading in portions of your level, but not the whole thing. So for example, if you look at this, this has kind of been partitioned out. So at the moment, it's only loading in where your actual character is. So if you look down here, you can see how you can't actually see that other stuff in the background. But if you were to select either doing either like clicking and dragging or just single clicking on one of these and right clicking you can click on load selected cells so notice how when you load the selected cells what that's going to do is that's going to load in the full geometry in here 
So if you don't want that in here, you can just right click and do an unload selected cells and that's gonna unload everything that's in here. So you can see how this is really using that world partition to kind of improve the performance by only loading in what you need to have and nothing else. So that's definitely a very cool feature. So in addition, you can also take a look at the way Nanite is working inside of the scene. So the way that you can do that is if you jump into your um, lit or your V mode right here, and you go down into Nanite visualization, um, notice how you're gonna be able to visualize the uh, different things that Nanite is doing. One of the coolest ones for me is if you click in here and you see the overview, right, of the way that this is doing this, it gives you every single window for the different things that Nanite is using. So you can see the triangles, you can see the clusters, other things like that. So you can actually see how Nanite is looking and shifting um, the way that things are shown on your screen. And so you can kind of take a look at the way this is working. Honestly, I have not looked into Nanite enough yet to know exactly how this is working. That's exactly what this tool is for. So I'm not really worried about that, but you can also, you can use this in order to visualize this and kind of practice with it. You can also um, go in and take a look at um, each one of those individually, right? So you can look at masks, you can look at triangles, other things like that to really kind of see what this scene is doing, um, what Nanite is doing inside of your scene. We can look into that a little bit more um, in depth if you guys are interested in the future. And so one limitation that they do know in the overview video um, is that Nanite can't currently do materials with world position offset masks or um, translucent materials. So at the moment they said any of the trees with leaves currently aren't using Nanite because the materials aren't set up for that yet. So I'm sure that's something that's coming in the future, but it's something they're currently working on right now. So note that Lumen is also enabled. So if you go to edit and you go to your project settings and then you scroll down to your rendering settings down here, notice that Lumen is enabled as the dynamic global illumination method right here. So note that there are some other things that need to be enabled for this to work, but basically what this is doing is this is using that real-time global illumination. So if you were to jump over into your scene like this, do any kind of like a rotation or anything like that on your lighting, notice how those shadows are adjusting in real time um, with Lumen right here. So I'm not having to do any like light baking or anything like that um, in order to get these shadows in here. So if you do a control space, you can see that all all of the blueprints and everything are built into this. So you can actually open up the blueprints and add things like game elements. So for example, if you wanted to add like some crates or something like that, you can drag those in from the game elements folder. Um, in addition, you can also look at the blueprints for these crates. So for example, the door, if you click on this, you can see all the stuff that's built in to the uh, door right here in order to make it operable, right? And then they also have notes in here telling you exactly what they're doing. So they're basically telling you, okay, there's an event and then there's a animation that you can play when that event happens and here's where it should move the doors around. So you can really kind of get in depth with the way these things work right here. So, so blueprints is definitely something I need to get into more. So a reference like this is really helpful. So I'm mostly posting this to uh, encourage you to go download it and give it a try. So this is a really great resource. It's something that I want to dive into a little bit more. Um, it's absolutely free. So I didn't have to pay anything for any of this. Um, same with Unreal Engine 5. So I don't know why, other than hard drive space limitations, why you wouldn't at least download this and try it out and see if it's something that you like. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this tool, about Unreal Engine 5. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.